already we have discussed the properties under the inverse trigonometric function. Today I will make a small video for you under the exercise 2.2. The first question is prove that 3 sin inverse x equal to sin inverse of 3x minus 4 is cube and other medicines. Already I have written down the question on the board. Now I am going to show a bit how to prove. So pro for proving we can have let sin inverse of x equal to theta. Then we can write, as you know, x equal to sin theta. We we'll begin from the right hand side. So we can take the right hand side as sin inverse, which is given to us 3x minus 4x cube. We can write sin inverse 3x. x means already we got in, uh, as x equal to sin theta. Then we can put here 3 sin theta minus 4 sin cube theta. Uh, that sin 3 sin theta minus 4 sin cube theta this we got as sin of 3 theta that sin inverse of sin theta is equal to theta sin inverse of sin theta is equal to theta so you Now we have to remember the property that 10 inverse of x plus 10 inverse of y is equal to 10 inverse of x plus y by 1 minus x y. This property is very important and this property we have to use here. We have to consider this one as x and this one as y. So 10 inverse of x plus 10 inverse of y. So uh, we can write in this way x plus y that is 2 by 11 plus 7 by 24 then 1 minus x y you can see here 1 minus x y 2 by 11 into 7 by 24 then 10 inverse we have to take the LCM which is 11 into 24 so it will be 48 plus 77 then here also 11 into 24 it will be 11 into 24 minus 14 and this we can cancel it will be equal to 10 inverse 48 plus 77 is 125 and this one 4 then 6 then 164 oh sorry 264 and then minus 14 is equal to 10 inverse of 125 if we subtract then we will get 250 so if we cancel 125 by 250 then we will get half 1 by 2 because we will get the right hand side so thus we have proved the question number 2 thank you 2 10 inverse half plus 10 inverse of 1 by 7 is equal to 10 inverse of 31 by 70 yes, that we have to prove here also we are going to take the left hand side first so left hand side 2 10 inverse half plus 10 inverse of 1 by 7 now we have to remember that 2 10 inverse x equal to 10 inverse of 2x by 1 minus x square so that we have to apply here 2 10 inverse x is equal to 10 inverse of 10 inverse of 2x 2 into half then 1 minus x square 1 minus half square that means plus 10 inverse of 1 by 7 10 inverse 2 into half that we can cancel it will be 1 then 1 minus 1 by 4 plus 10 inverse of 1 by 7 10 inverse 1 if we subtract this then it will be 3 by 4 plus 10 inverse of 1 by 7 10 inverse it will be 4 by 3 4 by 3 plus 10 inverse of 1 by 7. Now again we have to remember that 10 inverse x plus 10 inverse y. That a property we have to apply. Here is x and this one is y. So 10 inverse x, x plus 10, 10 inverse of x plus 10 inverse of y. That we have to recall again 10 inverse of x plus y by 1 minus xy. 
So tan inverse of 4 by 3 plus 1 by 7 by 4, 1 minus 4 by 3 into 1 by 7. Tan inverse, the MCM will be uh, 21, here also 21, that you can cancel down. So it will be 28 plus 3, here 21 minus 4. Tan inverse, 28 plus 3 is 31, and this minus is 17, which is equal to the potential.